Looking forward to sharing this information with you guys today. Cutting edge COVID-19 research products for Australian and New Zealand researchers. And I'm glad you're here with me to learn all about it. I'd love to know if your labs are still up and running, if you are doing COVID-19 research, um, if you are thinking about it, if you are trying to um, put together a project. Um, we love hearing your stories and hearing what you're up to, so please let us know. I know there is a little Q&A section there and possibly a comments, so please feel free to join in the conversation. <clears throat> okay, Sarah. Um, yes. I'm just going to start off with a little thing. So as Sarah just said, we have a Q&A uh, tab available on the bottom of your screen. Please feel free to ask questions throughout the talk. And we have a panel of our expert product managers available to answer those questions throughout the talk. But also we'll, Sarah will be able to answer some of the questions um, at the end of the talk. Uh, as well, we'll be running a poll at the end of Sarah's talk. If you wouldn't mind taking an extra 10 seconds to answer that poll, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, and uh, here you go, Sarah. Thank you, Daniel. Well, here we go. <laughs> okay, so my name is Sarah Fardy, and I am the Marketing Manager for Joma Life Research. Been with the company since 2015, and I I joined straight out of the lab uh, where I was an immunologist and virologist. So these kits are really interesting to me as it puts all of my um, all of my skills into one little diagnostic test. So we're looking at antibody testing in these um, rapid test kits for COVID-19 IgMs and IgGs out of serum, whole blood and finger pricks. Um, as Dan mentioned, we do have a um, a panel of experts here with you today ready to answer your questions as they may arise. We have specialists across all different portfolios of products that we um, we provide you guys and also our CEO Alex Sabo is here as well. So please feel free to reach out. No question is silly and I'm sure we'll all learn from whatever questions you might have. Okay, so I'm going to first off start talking about um, the company that created the rapid IgG IgM test kits. Uh, this is Ray Biotech. So Ray Biotech is one of our five star suppliers. Um, this means that they fulfill five criteria of ours to ensure that the standards of their products um, match our business. Um, and so number one is that they provide strong a strong package of relevant validation data for all products. Um, their manufacturing site and operations have passed an inspection by us, Joma. Um, and in this case, I was lucky enough to go to Guangzhou and um, attend one of their distributor conferences. Um, and you can see in the pictures here, uh, we've got a lab tour and you can see it's very clean um, and their manufacturing facilities were enormous. So uh, also you can see we are actually one of their top distributors in the world and actually win the award consistently for best technical support. So you have come to the right place to understand Ray Biotech products. Um, now the number three, the third factor is that they have um, a very, a good history of low, um, low quality issues with their products and that we don't have customers come back reporting to us that they have had issues with the product. Um, the number four factor is that they offer a performance satisfaction guarantee. So if the product doesn't work in your hands the way that it's designed to, we work with you either on a technical point of view or we um, proceed down the satisfaction guarantee um, guidelines. So um, replacing that product or, or whatever that may be for that particular product. Um, and also that the company maintains an adequate supply of stock so that we can have rapid fulfillment of your orders. And Ray Biotech meets all of these criteria for us. And so I'm very pleased then to introduce you to um, their approach in fighting the coronavirus through their antibody testing kits for the COVID-19 IgMs and IgG. Um, now, 
Ray Biotech was actually the first company to produce these lateral flow antibody test kits for Australian and New Zealand researchers and for some of the first, um, some of the first research groups across the world. Um, they also have a large and growing suite of COVID-19 um, products as well for different parts of research and we'll, I'll touch on those at the end but they're um, related assays, antibodies, proteins and host response assays. Okay, so let's get into this, um, this rapid test, this um, lateral flow kit and, and how it came about that Ray Biotech um, uh, are manufacturing these kits for the world and for you guys, Australian researchers and New Zealand as well. So Ray Biotech initially begun their COVID-19 diagnostic research um, in the, with the aim of developing a QRT-PCR kit um, based on the CDC guidelines. And at that time, they were lucky enough to receive some positive samples um, from COVID-19 patients. And so as they were developing their um, QPCR kits, at the same time, they began to develop um, an antibody detection kit so that you would have a more rapid diagnostic test for this outbreak um, and you didn't actually require any fancy equipment um, or technical expertise to, um, to run the diagnostic. So that's where it all came from. Um, and let me see if I click next to it. Okay, so they offered two different rapid test kits. Essentially, they are the same, except that one kit has um, a few additional um, uh, kit components. So a lance to break the skin for the, um, for the blood to come out, um, a little sterile strip and um, a Band-Aid. Uh, so essentially, the two kit types are the same. And then if we break it down across the two kit types, we have a kit specifically for the IgM, a kit specifically for the IgG in both of those kit types. So each kit um, only detects either IgG or IgM. Um, the kit does not detect both at the same time on the same cassette. And the decision um, for to go down the single, the single test on each individual cassette was um, for um, production and um, they wanted to have reliable um, quality control um, per, per kit. So yeah, they decided to go for that. Okay. So some benefits of this kit here is that it's a rapid screen. So you get your test results in 10 to 15 minutes. Um, there's high detection efficiency. The kit does IgM or IgG. Um, you don't need any testing equipment um, and they're easy to operate. So you can use it on serum, whole blood or plasma and um, they have room temperature storage. Okay. Okay, here's a little simple steps of how the kit is used. The lance, um, collect the blood, it's diluted inside the diluent and then um, you add the, the sample to the cassette, wait 10 minutes and then you'll have a positive, um, negative or an invalid sort of test line pop up. Okay, so we have separate kits for detecting IgG and IgM and so for those who don't know, the IgGs and the IgM antibodies are the first to respond after an infection. Um, and so depending on what, where in the infection pipeline someone is, you'll have a different, um, you could have a different response. So it's, you'll actually need to use both the IgG and the IgM tests um, to know whether, how, what your antibody response is like and that's recommended. Okay, so here's a little schematic that I've put together to help you understand the technical type, the technical part of the actual cassette kit and how it works. But basically, simply, it's, it's very similar to a, um, a pregnancy test. The sample is loaded into the sample pad, so the little greeny blue section down the bottom. Um, and in that sample, you may have um, the coronavirus IgMs or coronavirus IgG antibodies. Um, as that moves into the conjugation pad, it will either bind to the, um, the, 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 human, the anti-human IgM that's in there or whether it's the IgG kit, um, which is then bound to the colloidal gold tags. Um, and then the control there is a chicken, um, chicken antibody. Then through um, capillary action, 
that sample is actually drawn up through the um, through the dry um, through the dry cassette, and then you'll have a, a, a positive line if you have created the um, the human IgM um, complex with the um, coronavirus IgMs that are in there, then they'll move up and create your positive lines there. Okay, so how do you interpret the results? Well, if you have, um, if you're IgM positive and IgG positive, you may have a recent infection with the coronavirus. If you have IgM um, positive, but IgG negative, um, you also have a recent coronavirus infection. IgM negative, IgG positive, you may have had a previous um, coronavirus infection and you can see with the, um, the antibody timelines down there in the bottom left corner and that gives you a picture of, of what's going on based on um, the type of positive or negative result that you have. And again, if you're negative to both IgM and IgG, um, it, it could be a number of things. There's not enough, um, there's not enough um, antibody being detected or you're very early on in infection. So uh, so Ray Biotech also offers another um, of, of related COVID-19 products. You can see here QPCR kit that I mentioned before um, and protein elizers. They have some ACE2 um, activity assays and other host response assays, which we will give you some bite-sized um, webinars on later on down the track. So thank you for tuning in. Um, everyone that's present here today is eligible to receive one of these COVID-19 researchers t-shirt, so please email us and we will send you out a, um, a special t-shirt for being a part of this. So thank you very much. And any questions, guys? Can't see, Daniel. While we're waiting for questions to pop up, I'm going to flick through to this um, little video that we have. And one second, I'll answer one question for you, Sarah. I just copy pasted something wrong into the chat but amy oh. asked what the sensitivity of oh. the yeah. test was the sensitivity and the specificity the sensitivity is 84.1 percent yep. and the yep. specificity is 92.3 percent yep please apologize for my copy paste error <laughs> yeah, sure. there i can't um, see the questions here so i'm going to play this little video for anyone that's still hanging <clears throat> it's the coronavirus um a detection kit being run as a, as a test here so are there any questions we, ha we have another question um <clears throat> uh, is the product research only or can be used for diagnosis uh research use only yeah Um, do we have any further questions? Yeah, Sarah? so each each kit comes with 20 tests inside it. Um, you can see here we've got running through this instruction manual, 20 detection cassettes, um, 20 plastic pipettes and vials of the sample diluent. So you don't need anything. You can also purchase separately the lancets um, and we can provide you with enough for your kit if you can't source them somewhere else. Um, so they come in these foil packets. Um, and then inside the foil packet is the, um, the cassette. Now inside the cassette, we have the end protein of the coronavirus and we have the control, which is a chicken IgG, IgY, sorry. Okay, so yeah, as you prepare the patient um, or you're collecting your blood sample, um, mix up the diluent first. Okay. <laughs> Increase the blood flow. If anybody's tried to do one of these tests before, it can be quite tricky to get enough blood. So you don't have to have um, patient blood. It can be from blood samples um, and it can be from serum as well. So it's not limited to, um, to sort of the, that point of care blood um, blood receiving. Okay, so you just fill up the end of the pipette that they provide you, then you um, pipette up and down four or five times, or three to five times to mix it up. Um, once you have it in there, then you load it into the cassette. 
Um, and then while it's in the cassette there, that's where it will be um, binding to, for, to form those um, antibody complexes with the collodial gold. And then through the capillary action, it will move up through the, the test cassette um, and you will see a positive line appear for your control, which is the chicken, um, chicken antibody. And then your test line, which is the N protein, um, you'll see if you are detecting the IgG or the IgM, depending which kit that you have. Um, so what's happening there on the left is um, red blood cells that are pooling into the bottom of the cassette. If that happens, then it's that kit has gone too long. That usually occurs after the eight minutes, sort of around the 20 minute mark. And you, will, you should see a positive result within the, um, the 10 to 15 minute window. Yeah. All right, Sarah, we have a, we have a number of questions. Okay. Um, you, this is actually very relevant to your video. So what is the minimum volume that they recommend of blood for testing? I believe it's 20 microliters. Yep, okay. Um, uh, another question is, can you give some more information about the specific antigens on the test and uh, kind of a question? Uh, the, antigen is the, um, the antigen on the test is the coronavirus N protein. And that's COVID and uh, SARS coronavirus 2 specifically. SARS coronavirus 2, yes. Yep. And uh, protein. What is, do you know what the cross react? Another one of our questions is duh, what's the cross reactivity with other coronaviruses? Um, they haven't done the cross reactivity um, assays at this stage, um, but in, they do provide with some extra info. Let me just have a look here. Um, no, they haven't done those cross-reactive with flu um, or other viruses at this stage. Uh, can anybody else from the team add anything else they know about that? Alex? Uh, but, uh, let me unmute Alex. So, um, yeah. so the limit of detection, it says that cross-reactivity to other viral antibodies has not been determined. Flu A, flu B, HCV, HBV, RSV, etc. So, no, I can't add much more to that um, uh, other than I don't believe that there's any, uh, any cross-reactivity with SARS-CoV-1. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it yeah. to people. Yeah, there is yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. I think... Uh, I think we have, we, have, we have one more question from Nigel. You would need this for specificity result, wouldn't, wouldn't you? Um, I guess I'm not very clear. Clear on the question. Are you clear on that question, Sarah? No. Um, Can you maybe reword you that question? You mean the question, cross reactivity? Michael? You mean a cross reactivity? Um, definitely. Oh, maybe that's just that's just a follow up to his other one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We wouldn't. It would be needed for specificity. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any more questions for Sarah? Yep, and well, just to reiterate, these right now were just to reiterate Sarah's answer because it was rather quick. It, these are for research only at the at the moment. Yeah, research use only at the moment. Um, yep, I think that's. Uh, if you have if you need to have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at jlrresearch.com.au, and we'll get back to you with an answer very shortly. That's right. And thank you for tuning in. We hope it was useful. Um, and we're looking forward to hearing from you and the kind of COVID-19 research you and your lab are doing. So thanks for tuning in.